There's an angle to this video. Stay tuned. I'm over here at my jet scroll saw and I want to show you something. I had a few emails uh, after I did the uh, uh, dovetail cutting video the other day on this scroll saw about the fact that I used this uh, digital wixy angle gauge back here on the saw when I was setting the 15 degree angle. Um, I just came out in the shop tonight and I thought I would make that a little more permanent so I actually mounted a little right angle uh, bracket here and I uh, have installed the angle gauge on it and I just thought I'd show you how I did that. I'll just real quickly here show you how it works. I've got my uh, protractor behind my blade here and as you can probably tell the blade is uh, at a perfect right angle from the table uh, and that's where you want to start because the guide or the uh, Wizardal Dixie angle gauge actually references its setting uh, from an already flat table. So if we take a look up here at the gauge I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and zero it out. Now this uh, digital gauge can be had on Amazon and I'll put a link below. They actually have a couple newer models now and I'm going to upgrade to the Wixie 365 because it has a tilting display uh, which makes it a little easier to see and also it uses uh, two AA batteries so the battery life is longer plus the AAAs are easier to get a hold of for me and uh, this one uses the little small watch batteries uh, and it's not quite doesn't last quite as long as the other style so I'm going to go ahead and we've got this zeroed out now and this one sometimes wants to zero on point 0.1 and uh, another reason why I think there it is now it's at zero so I'm going to loosen the table and I'm going to move it to the right 10 degrees and right about let's go back a little bit there's 10.1 so that's close enough now if we take a look down at the protractor you can see we're setting once we get this line back up we're setting right at 100 degrees instead of 90 so it's very accurate um, as long as you keep the when you zero this out, as long as the blade is at 90 degrees, uh, then this stays very accurate. I can right now take this back to zero. And be very confident that we are at zero on the protractor also. and we are almost perfectly there. So I'm going to zoom back out here just for a second and I'll show you how I installed this bracket and what I used. To do this project uh, you have to remove the hold down foot which goes in this little bracket right here and I never used the hold down foot anyway so it was not a problem for me to lose that feature and I know most people do take it off because they get in the way uh, but if you do use the hold down foot you may not want to do this or find another way to mount it. Um, but uh, what we do here is we take a two and a quarter inch right angle bracket that I got at Home Depot. Okay, that is what obviously the Wixie guide is going to mount onto, and the Wixie guide has magnets on the bottom so it stays pretty steady. When I got the right angle gauge home, it has a hole right here in the middle but that didn't quite line up without hitting the let me put this up just a second if you try to use that center hole it'll run into this plastic housing right here so what I did is I drilled with this laying down just like this I drilled an extra hole to the left of the center hole near the bottom and uh, you can just kind of space it out there. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but uh, uh, basically even with this and then over closer to the edge. Then I got a half inch bolt that would fit through that hole and one of these locking nuts. The next step is to put the bolt through the hole in your bracket. And this is the hardest part right here. And I'm trying to stay out of the camera, so it's gonna make it even harder. But you need to get this bolt 
in this nut, and I may have to get in the way here to do this. Once you get it started, then you can let the bracket hang down for a minute and just grab this blocky nut, cinch it up a little bit, then you can bring this up. And I actually found that if you push it all the way back against this plastic, uh, it brings it up just at a slight little bit of an angle that allows the Wixie guide to set at a little bit of an angle and make it easier to read. So once you get that bracket where you want it, snug it down real good, and you're ready to go. All you have to do is, once you know your blade's at 90 degrees, turn it on, zero it out, and then you're ready, ready to roll. Uh, I've run the saw several minutes and done quite a bit of cutting with this guide up here, and it does not vibrate off. The magnets on here are strong enough that it seems to stay in place pretty well. Um, if it does happen to move on you, if you have a little bit too much vibration, uh, you know, if you wanted to make this permanent, you could obviously, uh, you know, epoxy it on or just use a tie wrap or a rubber band or something to hold it on. Uh, but I've been pretty happy with it. I've used it quite a bit. It's very accurate. Like I say, um, because it's just on there with a magnet, you can continue to use it in other parts of your shop also. Uh, also, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to upgrade this to the 365 for the extra uh, battery life and easier to come by batteries and I really like the uh, little this little LED right here flips out and you can set it at any angle so anyway I thought it was a kind of an interesting little addition to the saw and I thought some others might like to take a look and see what I did I'm Steve Good thanks for being here with me at the scroll saw workshop